भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय कृष्णाय वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय च नंद गोपकुमाराय गोविंदय नमो नम नमो महावदनाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदा ते कृष्णा कृष्ण चैतन्यनामने गौरात्मेशे नम श्रीचैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थपिता भूतले स्वयं रूपक्रम ददा स्वपदाक जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवा सदगौर भक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो जी डिवोरी डूइंग भक्ति शास्त्री विथ वी आर एच वी आर टुडे गोइंग टू कंप्लीट द सेक्शन ऑफ द नेक्टर ऑफ डिवोशन the eastern side of the ocean of nectar of devotion which have four waves the first wave is samanya bhakti second wave is sadhan bhakti which is the longest wave up till from almost chapter 2 to 14 and the right rather chapter 16 and then we discuss the two type of sadhan bhakti vaidhi sadhan bhakti which was the longest portion and then two chapter were the raga anuga sadhan bhakti then we started the third wave bhav bhakti or ecstatic love of god that was the 17 and 18 chapters today we are starting the fourth wave and the final wave of the eastern side of the mm-hmm. nectar of devotion bhakti rasamrit sindhu the love of god prem so So we are expecting seven more devotees at least to join. So we are starting today chapter 19 devotional service in pure love of God which means prema bhakti. What is prema bhakti? Prem prema bhakti prem is the mature state of bhav prem is the mature state of bhav when bhav deepens to its maximum point it is called prem now there is a one question which we will discuss when pra- prem manifest does bhav disappears if the bhav is the cause of the prem then when prem manifest bhav must disappear but actually it is not like that bhav will remain eternally and prem will also manifest and then continue further so it's not that when the bhav bhakti mature into prem bhakti bhav disappears no and then bhav will as stay as the five different sthayi bhav mm-hmm. the neutrality servitorship friendship mm-hmm. parenthood and conjugal 
सो दैट इज भाव विच विल कंटिन्यू एज ए स्थाई भाव एंड देन द फर्दर डिवेलपमेंट विल बी देयर प्रेम प्रेम विल स्टे देयर इट मे गो टू द महाभाव विच इज राधा रानी इज पोजिशन so when some bhav is very prominent the other bhavs are also there but they are not manifesting so this is something which we will see more in detail now we are going to the definition of the prema bhakti this is the definition of the prema bhakti which is in bhakti rasamrit sindhu and is quoted in chetana charitamrit samayam masharinatah swanto mamatva atishya ankitah bhavasa eva sandratma buddhai prema nigadyate buddhai prema nigadyate means wise call that love of god so what is that bhav saev sandar atma condensed bliss by now you remember the two characteristic which develop at prema bhakti at the stage of prema bhakti sandra anand vishesh atma and krishna akarshani so the very nature of the love of god is a sandar atma condensed bliss and there is a primary characteristics and the secondary characteristic are two samayan means complete mashrita swanto means heart is completely softened the heart is completely softened and number 2 mamatva atishya ankitah possessiveness atitya means more possessiveness possessiveness strong possessiveness of lord lord is mine so that is called prem when the bhav softened softened the heart completely which means samyan masharanita swanto become endowed with great feeling of possessiveness mamatva ataik mamatva atish ankitah in relation to lord and become very much condensed sandar atma and intensified it is called prem love of god by lord and who is it speaking yes anybody has a question i want somebody want somebody is speaking yes who was there How many are we now? Fifteen uh, total. Okay, so th- three are still missing. Yeah, I will. I will send message in the group again. Let's see. Okay. So definition of prema bhakti we have understood. <coughs> Classification of prema bhakti. Oh no, sorry. Characteristic of prema bhakti. from the definition we have primary characteristic and secondary characteristic the primary characteristic called swarupa lakshana and that is sandar sandar atma condensed state of bhav the secondary are tatist lakshana they are samayana masharanita swanto the completely softened heart mamatva atishya ankita highly possessive ownership of krishna now this uh, mamatwa 
अन्य ममता विष्णो ममता प्रेम संगता भक्ति उच्यते भीषम प्रहलाद उधव नारद ही सो so, अनन्य ममता विष्णु अनंत अनन्य ममता में ओनली पजेजनेस ऑफ कृष्णा इज माइंड वाय दर्ड विष्णु इज देयर अनन्य ममता विष्णु वन वन डेवलप्स एन अनफिल्टिंग सेंस ऑफ ओनरशिप व्हिच मींस ममता आर पजेजनेस इन रिलेशन टू लॉर्ड विष्णु or in other words when one thinks vishnu and no one else to be the only object of love mamata prema sangata such an awakening is called bhakti by the exalted person like bhisham pralad udhav and nal it is from pancharatra which is in our book we will read now What is the meaning of mamatwa? Possessiveness. Prem means to have a sense of highly possessive ownership of Krishna. Ordinary devotional service has the mood of tadhya. Tadhya means I am Krishna's. Whereas the prem of bhakti has the mood of mamatwa. Krishna is mine. in a bhav one is in this understand what now this is the another difference between the bhav and prem in bhav one understand one's eternal relationship with lord he understand what is our relationship in prem of bhakti however one actually enters the lord's eternal past time in one's eternal spiritual identity it means swarup in the mood that Krishna is my son if he has a vatsalya prem or Krishna is my friend if he has a sakha prem or Krishna is my lover if you, the person has a conjugal feeling so then actually he enter into the past time so before we go to this stage uh, let us read in our book and understand what is written there open your book and start reading one one when one desire to love krishna one one desire to love krishna it means the endeavor has to be made by the devotee in one's particular relationship it means out of the five is out of the five relationship conjugal parent bond become intensified this is known as pure love of god in the beginning now shri prabhupada is just giving something in the beginning the word is engaged in regulative principle means sadhan bhakti by spiritual master then when he becomes completely purified of contamination it means anarth nivarti there develop an attachment and taste which means ruchi and asakti for devotional service the taste and attachment this ruchi and asakti when gradually re intensified in the course of time become love of god so it becomes bhav the attachment may may be called bhav because attachment in the last chapter was only bhav so then it is called prem the now this is prabhupada's own purport the definition of love from sri chaitanya charitamrit the word uh, love can be actually applied only in relationship with personality of god in the material world love is not applicable at all what goes 
uh, what goes on under the name of love in the material world is nothing but lust. There's a gulf of difference between love and lust. This is the verse from the Chaitanya Chaitamrita. Like the difference between the gold and iron. Anybody remember this verse? Have you heard this verse? Sangeeta? Hare Krishna Prabhu, so, uh, partially I remember. This is Kamendra Priti Vansha. Uh, yes. I don't remember it. Well, but the, the one who wants to enjoy, uh, enjoy his own senses is called lust, and one who, who gives pleasure to the senses of Krishna is called love, and there's a gulf of difference. Love is like gold, and lust is like iron. This is the verse. Krishna in uh, one uh, Indriya Hampus. Swam Indriya Vancha Nam Dhare Kam Krishna Indriya Preeti Nam Dhare Prem. I say, uh, this is the something is like that. So, this is Prabhupada's own purport. And then from Narada Pancharatra, we just read the verse. It's clearly stated that lust is completely transformed to the to Supreme Personality of Godhead concept of kinship, kinship means uh, mamatwa, completely respond to him and such accepted as a pure love of God by great authorities like Bhishma, Prahlad and Udav. And Sam will continue what's next. Great authority like Bhishma have explained that love of God means completely giving up all so-called love for any other person. This is this was the verse. According to Bhishma, uh, love means reposing one's affection completely upon one person, withdrawing all affinities to any other person. This pure love can be transferred to the Supreme Personal Regarded under the two conditions. Now from here, the next topic starts, how one can develop love of God? By two ways. One is from ecstasy, means from bhav. Those who have bhav, that will mature into the love. The, and the other is causeless mercy of Krishna. So this is what is in this slide here. Two ways to achieve prem. So now we have read up till here. Two ways to achieve prem from bhava, called bhava utho, means arising from bhava. And then there are two types under this heading from Vaidhi Bhav, Sadhan Bhav, Vaida Bhav Uthav. For that we have quotation from Bhagavatam 11 to 40. So this is the next topic in our book is ecstasy which means arising from Bhav. And you go to the next page. This says, was first, first you follow the Vaidhi Bhakti, then the Vaidhi Bhav will arise, and then the verse is quoted. And what is in the verse, we will read. And below that is Padma Purana. From Rag Anoda Sadhan, Rag Anugya Bhav Utha. And that is again the example of Chandrakanti, the fair girl who danced in the temple. Now on the other side, now this is this is the our two paragraphs are over on the next page. The Lord's extraordinary mercy is the next way to achieve the prem. From Lord's uh, extraordinary mercy is called Ati Prasad Utha. Prasad means mercy. For example, given uh, for example by giving his association to the devotees. Which means Lord give his association to the devotees. And from Srimad Bhagavatam quotation is, uh, this is uh, the example for, this is Gopis of the Vrindavan and not Bali Maharaj, it's a Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj, woman, they went there and gave him, say, higher blessing by mercy. Bali never did any sadhana. So some Bengali has written, it's not Bali Maharaj, it's a Bali Maharaj, etc. Now, this uh, love which is coming from mercy,
it can be endowed with knowledge of the Lord's power, which is called Mahatamya Maya, and which is endowed with only na with endowed with only knowledge of Lord's sweetness. It's called Kevala. So this love of God can be in Dwarka and Mathra, which is with the Mahatamya Jnana Yukta, and one which is in the Vrindavan is Kevala, where only Lord sweetness. So this, these are the next page is about this. Whole next page is about this. And after that, in the last part, well, this is something. Somebody practice Vaidhi Bhakti, then he will get Vaidhi Bhav, then Vaidhi Bhav Uttha Prem, he will get Vaidhi Bhav Prem. If somebody is practicing Raganoga Bhakti after Nishta, then he will get Raganoga Bhav and Rag Anogya Bhav Uttha Prem. Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhu, Prabhu Naraji uh, come in the first class, as you have said, Vaidhi Bhav. Yeah, Narad, Narad is Vaidhi Bhav, Vaidhi Prem, he has a Vaidhi Prem. So one who has a Vaidhi Bhav and then he has a Lord's mercy. One who has a Vaidhi Bhav and he has a Lord's mercy, then it's called Mahatamya Jnana. It means that he will have a awe and reverence. Sorry, I have no awe. Uh -huh. Ah, but yeah, go on, 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 go so Vaidhi Bhav plus Lord's mercy, Mahatamya Jnana Prem and the destination is Vaikuntha, four type of liberations. Raganugya Bhav, Lord's mercy, Kevala Prem, Golok Vrindavan. And then this is the last page of our book where the heading is association with pure devotees. This association with pure devotees, this whole paragraph is actually evolution of the Prem. And this is the very famous verse everybody know, Adao Sharda Atha Sadhu Sangha Atha Bhajan Kriya Atato Anartha Nivarti Syat Tato Nishta Ruchi Tata Tatha Atha Asakti Tato Bhava Tata Prema Abhyudan Chati Sadhakanam Ayam Premanaha Pradur Bhave Bhaveta Kramaha One after other stages some will get Prem. So this is what is in the book. Evolution of Prem, first there must be Sharda, then Sadhu Sangha, then Bhajan Kriya, then Anartha Nivarti, Nishta, Ruchi, Asakti, Bhav and Prem. And there is a full book written by Vishwanath Chakrati Pad, it's called Madhurya Kadambani, which describes all these stages, 4 and 4, 8 and 9, all these stages separately. So this much is in our book and then there are two verses in the last uh, from Bhakti Rasamit Sindhu where there is a, some names are written that we will read now. <clears throat> so this much is in a, our book with two more verses which we will see now. So now we are completely 20, okay. Welcome. Now we will see the other, we will see the original text, uh, Prabhupada has paraphrased here and uh, condensed. So we are looking in the fourth wave. Jiva Goswami writes, obsessed by the desire to benefit all the devotees of the Lord, 
the esteemed author Srila Rupa Goswami compiled this remarkable work, the scripture called Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu, using the rasa presented in Srimad Bhagavatam, which appeared within, within the lotus bud of his heart. And this is the fourth wave of the eastern side of ocean. Definition of Prema Bhakti. This is the definition we read. Samyan Mashranitah Swanto Mamatva Atisha Ankitaha Bhava Saeva Sandratma Buddhahi Prema Nidhigadhyate. Now, when the bhav becomes extremely condensed, it is called Prem by Learned. It softens the heart completely and produces the extreme possession of the Lord in in the experience, experience, uh, experiencer, it means devotee. So, having explained bhav, the author now explained prem. The main quality is its very condensed nature, sandra atma. The other two qualities are secondary characteristic, that is the lakshan. The prem the uh, secondary character, heart, this is Avishwana Chakra Thakur writes, Swanta, Swanta means heart, become extremely soft, Samayan Mashranitaha. In comparison to the preliminary stage of bhav, in which the heart becomes soft but not complete. Moreover, Prem is condensed bliss, the highest state of bliss compared to the preliminary stage of bhav, which has the primary or preliminary appearance of the bliss. It is like a ray of the Prem. Prem is a sun and ray is a bhav. Prem also has extreme possession of Krishna. This type of bhav is called Prem. Now, this is the, what I told in the beginning. Uh, a doubt of, now arises. If bhav is the cause of prem, and if it transforms itself into the prem, it is called the met, it is called the material cause. Then it's going to be a material cause. Then it uh, is. It there must be is here. I is. It is called material cause, upadan cause, karan, of the prem according to the Sankhya philosophy. Then bhav must uh, give up its previous state and transform into prem. Effect cannot exist independent of the cause. It is similar to raw, this is an example, raw liquid sugar which gives up its first state and become a solid raw sugar. So. Is this bhav like that? Chakravarti Pad says no. When uh, after two lines I am reading, in this case bhav becomes prem, thus the bhav should no longer exist. Or the when prem becomes sne and sne becomes rag and rag becomes uh, then uh, then prem disappears and rag goes and further remains or not. So when it goes to Mahabhav, other all disappears, the answer is, it's, this is not true. Bhav becomes Prem without giving up its previous state. Why? How? Because of Achintya Shakti present in Rati. Rati means Bhav. Achintya Shakti means a Swarup Shakti of Krishna, Sambhitana Haladini. So Prem, Sanya, Rag, Man, Pranya, Anurag and Mahabhav which are are the supreme transformation of Haladini Shakti. Therefore, they all have their existence. Thus, Bhav exists separately from Prem. And Sne and other advanced stages exist separately from Prem. So, they all are there. Though the Bhav matures into Prem, it should also be eternal and should thus remain even after Prem appears. A devotee can have experience of lesser intensity in Bhav, 
or more intensity in Prem, Sneha, Rag and other things. Bhav takes one of five primary forms, Sthai Bhava, Shanta, Dasya Rati, Sakya Rati, Vatsalya Rati and Madhurya Rati. This remains with the devotee permanently, with the exception of Shanta Rasta Rati, which may transform into higher Ratis. Of course, the impurities present in bhav immediately following sadhan, which means still there is a, some trace of the aparad or anartha at this stage of bhav, but in the form of anartha would not be present when it is experienced at the later stage. It means by prem that anartha is no more. This is the difference between the bhav and prem but both will exist simultaneously. An example is given. Balya body of Krishna means baby Krishna, Kumar. Attain little more sweetness and attain pongal, which means when Krishna is starting herding calves and cows after five years. But without giving Balya state, his the childhood pastime will continue. It's not that he will the childhood by, uh, pastime is gone all forever. No. The pongal body means the body between 5 and 10. And then attain more excellence and become the kishora, which means 10 and 15. Without giving up the previous condition, his pongal will also continue. How? It is unlike uh, the material body, which uh, on attaining boyhood gives up baby body. This is because all the pastime of Krishna during all his ages with all his bodies are eternal. When Krishna enters his Pongar body which means 10 to 5, the Balya body means the Kumar 5 to 10 disappears and then appear in a universe in which Balya pastime are about to begin. It means again Krishna appear in some other universe where his uh, Kumar pastime of stealing butter and all this is started. So Balya body appears when the Balya pastime begin in the Vrindavan within the particular universe. So it means other universe also has a Vrindavan. The Balya body of Krishna will also appear in a future Kalp means when next day of Brahma. Again when the next day of Brahma when Krishna appears again his Balya start. West Vaivaswat Mantra means seven Manvantar. When Vrindavan appears on this earth again. Similar to this, now the analogy is given. Similar to this, sun appear, disappears from this continent in the evening and appears another continent, but after 12 hours it again appears in this continent. The eternal nature of the pastime and ages of the Krishna are explained in detail in commentaries on the Bhagavatam by devotees. Mm -hmm. So, getting back to the present case among those who have bhav, prem and sthai bhav, when a particular sthai bhav appear in a devotee, it means out of the five, five if one is prominent. Under particular conditions or causes, one should understand that the other bhava is still present in the devotee, but in unmanifest form. They are not destroyed. Similarly, among the material person who have anger, lust and other emotions, when one emotion among them surface, the other still exists, but in the form of impressions. Analogy. So this is the extra information about bhav and prem. Now we are coming to the first page which we have discussed, definition of the proof for the definition of prem bhakti from Pancharatra. Ananya mamata vishnaho mamata prema sangata bhakti riti uchyate bhishma pralahada udhava naradai. We have already done this, we are again doing it. Prem is defined by Bhisham, Prahlad, Udhav and Narada as that bhav which has possessiveness related to Vishnu or any other form of the Lord. And 
to no one else. Now, Jiva Goswami writes, one should be, one should, it should be understood that starting from verse 6, which is, means verse 6 in Bhakti, Rasam and Sindhu, <coughs> the author will give example to support his own definition of Prem, which is number one, which we have read. Uh, Samyan, Masradito, uh, Swanta, this is Rupa Goswami's own definition. Bhakti means bhav in this verse, okay. And the next, uh, Bhakti Rasamit Sindhu says, Bhakti Premo Chate Bhishmaha Mukta uh, Mukhyai Yatra To Sangata Mamata Anyaha Mamatyaena Varjitya Atra Yojana. So, so based on that verse, Ashila Rupa Goswami has written the analysis of the grammar of the above verses as follows Bhav is called Prem by Bhisham and others. Where there is a possession of related to Vishnu and where possession of others things is absent. So this is uh, the first portion, the first page of our book. Now we are going to the next page, almost first page, last, last two lines. Ways in which the Prem Bhakti appears. Uh, this Prem for the Lord has two types. That arising from bhav and that arising from mercy. Again, we are repeating the same thing. So, this is the Bhakti Rasamit Sindhu says, The bhav which reaches the highest excellence by continual service using all essential anga, means sadhana bhakti, is called prem arising from bhav. The angas were defined in relation to sadhana bhakti. <clears throat> but the same activities continue in bhav and prem also. But though they are called, and when these same angas of the bhakti, when they are practiced at the stage of prem, they are not called angas of the sadhana bhakti, but their name becomes anubhav. When sadhana bhakti is finished, when whatever the angas of the they practice, that is called anubhav means voluntary actions. Proof of Prem, Vaidhi Sadhan Prem. The proof for Prem appearing from Vaidhi Bhav. Then now you look into the first page. Ecstasy in our book. The love of God, somebody should read the ecstasy in our book. Yes. Somebody should read Hare Krishna. It. Hare yes. Krishna. Yes. Ecstatic love of Godhead can be potentially invoked simply by following the rules and regulations of devotional service as they are described in scriptures under the direction of a bona fide spiritual master. In the 11th canto, 2nd chapter, verse 40 of Srimad Bhagavatam, this ecstatic love, born of the execution of regulative devotional service, is explained. A devotee in the course of executing the regulative principles of devotional service develops his natural Krishna consciousness and being thus softened at the heart, he chants and dances like a madman. While performing chanting of the holy names of the Lord, he sometimes cries, sometimes talks wildly, sometimes sings and sometimes, without caring for any other outsider, dancing like a, uh, dances like a madman. Okay, now this is, the, uh, this is the, this is the verse uh, uh, from 11th canto. Evam vrataha swapriya naam kirtaya jata anurago druta chitta uchahi hasati atho rodati rauti gayati unmada vana nirtyati loga bahaya. Having performed his woes according to Vedi Bhakti, chanting the holy name of his beloved Lord, he developed great attachment as his heart melts with extra love. He laughs very loudly, cries and shouts. Sometimes he sings and dances like a madman, for he is indifferent to the public opinion. So then there is a little purport on that. In the Bada Puran, there is a statement about aesthetic love, born of spontaneous affection. Indra Kanti, a celebrated girl, rigidly observed celibacy in order to obtain Krishna as her husband. 
She always engaged herself in meditating on the transcendental form of the Lord and always chanted the glories of the Lord. She didn't desire to accept anyone else as her husband. She had firmly decided that only Lord Krishna would be her husband. Okay, these are the two verses from Padma Puran here. So, you note on this second paragraph, Raganuga Bhav. So this is called proof of Prem Bhakti appearing from Rag Anuga Bhav Bhakti. In book you write the uh, chapter 11, uh, 11 canto is a Sadhan Bhakti and Padma Puran is a Rag Anuga Bhav giving rise to Rag Anuga Bhakti. So this is the two verses quoted from Padma Puran. Mm -hmm. In this in this manvantra period in in this manvantra period means in this man, right now uh, manu you know there are fourteen manvantra in one day of Brahma so in this manvantra means vivaswat manvantra in which we are living now the beautiful face Chandra Kanti observed continuous celibacy and continuously meditated on the form of Krishna, thinking one should not desire anyone else as a, as a husband. She sang songs about him. With hair standing on end, she developed complete affection for Krishna by hearing stories about Krishna. So, she was doing some sadhana also, but uh, this is, it is understood that because she meditated only on the deity of Krishna, she had already achieved bhav for that deity. She did not desire anyone else as her husband. Na kamyet should be na okay. This indicated a feeling of deep possession of Krishna. Possession of Krishna is Krishna is mine. Thus, prem is indicated as per the definition. The this is. Sinigda, this is the technical things. Now we are going to the next topic, the Lord's Extraordinary Mercy. The proof of the Prem appearing from great mercy of the Lord. Hare Ra Prasado Ayam Sangha Dana Adir Atmataha. The great mercy of the Lord includes the things as the Lord gives his association to the devotee. Sangha. A uh, Lord uh, giving his personal association to the devotee is called Ati Prasad or extreme mercy because there is rule of the Lord's mercy. Now this is the verse quoted. Now you read in our book. Extraordinary mercy. Read the extraordinary mercy. Second way to achieve the prem. Somebody should start reading. When a devotee is found to be always associated with the law in ecstasy love, it is to be understood that such a position has been awarded by the law himself. Out of his costless extraordinary mercy, an example of such extraordinary mercy is given in the 11th canto, 12th chapter, Verse 7 of Shima Bhagavadam, wherein Lord Krishna tells Uttava, the gopis in Vindavan did not study the Vedas to achieve me, nor had they ever been in holy places of pilgrimage, nor did they devotedly execute any regulative principle, nor did they undergo any kind of austerity? It is simply by my association that they have attained the highest perfection of devotional service. From the example okay. of Chandrakani, okay, okay. Well, well, Chandrakani uh, uh, wait, is wait, wait, wait a minute. in the Padma Purana. And from the example of the gopis, as found in Shima Bhagavatam, it appears that a devotee 
who always thinks of Krishna and who always chants his glories in ecstasy love, regardless of his condition, will attain the highest perfection of unalloyed devotional love due to Lord Krishna's extraordinary mercy. This is confirmed in Shima Bhagavatam. Okay, well, uh, if uh, a person uh, 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 washes a uh, dose Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. The Supreme Law, he should be understood to have finished all kinds of austerities, penances, and similar process for self realization. On the other hand, if after undergoing all types of austerities, penances, and mystic yoga practices, one does not develop such love for Hari, then all of his performances are to be considered a useless waste of time. If someone always sees Krishna inside and out, then is it, it is to be understood that he has surpassed all austerities and penances for self-realization. And if after executing all kinds of penances and austerities, one cannot always see Krishna inside and out, then he has executed his performances uselessly. Continue, Prabhu. I'm coming. Spontaneous attraction to Krishna, which is said to be due to the ordinary mercy of the Lord, can be placed under two headings. One is profound veneration for the greatness of the Lord, and the other is one's being automatically attracted to Krishna without any external consideration. In the Narada Pancharacha, it is said that if on account of profound veneration for the greatness of the Supreme Law, one attains a great affection and steady love for him, one is certainly assured of attaining the four kinds of Vaishnava liberation, namely achieving the same bodily features as the law, achieving the same opulence as the law, dwelling on the planet where the Lord is residing, and attaining eternal association with the law. The Vaishnava liberation is completely different from the Mayavada liberation, which is simply a matter of being merged into the effulgence of the law. Okay. Hare Krishna. So, uh, so what we have, what you have read now, the mercy first is this verse of the Bhagavatam. Uh, Udhav, Krishna is telling to the Udhav, the gopis I have mentioned, this is gopis, about the gopis, okay? Iti na, iti na adhita shurti gana, they have not studied Veda, na, na upasita mahatmana, they have not associated with the saintly people, avarta taptaha tapaha, they have, they have not done any austerities, Mata Sangha Maam Upagata, only by my association they got this. So this is the mercy on the gopis. And the other is also mercy, well, well it's not actually mercy, uh, this, that is, that is a, uh, Chandra Kanti is coming from Bhav. Chandra Kanti is coming from Bhav to Prem. But gopis are directly getting Prem. Now then Srila Prabhupada just scrubbed to Degar, 
together all these two and then Prabhupada gives his own purport. Two verses from Bhagavatam which are not in uh, Bhakti Samit Sindhu as such. Now you see on the screen this verse. The person who achieved the law, who achieved the Lord and who are mentioned here are Bali, Mal, Bali and others. They did not study Veda. This is what the verse means. Mat Sangat means my association. Attaining prem, prem from association, attaining prem from association with my, me principally among all other type of association that is, on my, one may attain. Then they attend me. So, though the Lord is in an independent position, out of humility, He counts Himself among the devotees. That is why He is expressed in this way. Thus, the verse may be quoted to show that one can achieve prem from the mercy of the Lord. Prem appearing from a great mercy of the Lord. Now, now these two verses which you have read, Bhagavatam, is confirmed in Bhagavatam. If persons worship Adar or love Hari, the Supreme Lord should be understood to have finished. This is this verse, these two verses where they are in Bhagavatam, I don't know. We have to do research and find out. I think this one appears to be maybe in the third canto or eleventh canto. Uh, so the one who is chanting this name without any undergoing any process of uh, austerities or any other things, it means he has a mercy of the Lord. Now Srila Prabhupada, on the other end, if people do all these things but they don't live, develop the love of God, then they are wasting their time. And if someone is uh, always see Krishna inside out, then he is to be understand that he has surpassed all austerities. So this is Prabhupada's own Nushila Prabhupada's purport from Bhagavatam. I think we should do research which verses are these. I, right now I don't know. After that, now can you see the next paragraph? This mercy can be under the two headings. And these two headings, one mercy is called, this is here. Prem appearing from great mercy. Mahatame Gyan Yukta Chakkevala Cheti Duvida. Prem arising from Lord's mercy has two types. That endowed with knowledge of the Lord's power, Mahatamaya Gyan and which is endowed with the sweetness of the Lord, that is Kevala. So now we are in starting new topic. This mer the, That which is coming from mercy has two varieties. One is Mahatamya and other is sweet. Here it is explained that Prem has two type. Just Prem has two type. Just as Prem arising from Bhav had two types. Kevala indicate knowledge only of sweetness of the Lord, with uh, no mixture at all. Realizing only sweetness take place exclusive, exclusive in the form of Virja Krishna, Vrindavan Krishna, not even Mathura or Dwarka, where sweetness is mixed with uh, awareness of Krishna as a God. So Kevala is only in Vrindavan, but the Mahatma Maya is in Mathura and Dwarka. Realization of Vekunta, Vishnu produces a preeminence of Mahatmaya Gyan. So Vekunta is Mahatmaya. So this is a Pancharatra verse. Affection for Lord more than one, anyone else, which is very firm and includes knowledge of the Lord's powers is called bhakti. By the that bhakti a person attains power in a spiritual world as well as other rewards. There is no other way of attaining such things. These are the five types of liberation in Vekunt. So they are by the mercy of the Lord by Mahatma Prem. 
two verses from Pancharatra now show Prem with knowledge of the Lord's power. Without knowledge of Lord's powers, Mahatma Gyan knowledge of Lord's power means awareness that God, He is God. This awareness with the particular res re respect to the Lord restrict feeling of the Sakya, Vatsalya and Madhurya. They can only have a Dasya and Shanta. They cannot go higher generally. Though there is also awareness of Lord's power in person practicing Raganuga Bhakti, they also know power of Lord. That awareness does not restrict their feeling of Sakya, Vatsalya and Madhurya. For both Vaidhi Bhakta and Raganuda Bhakta, Sambandh Gyan, Sambandh Gyan Abhidhi and Priyodhan, Sambandh Gyan, which include knowledge of difference between God and Jiva and their respective qualities is a prerequisite for proper sadhana. In Raganuga Bhakti, however, this, his, this knowledge does not restrict their feeling of intimacy with Lord and awareness of God, Krishna as a God, is not part of his emotional cultivation. It is spontaneous. This knowledge of Lord's greatness, complete affection for Lord is called Bhakti. By that uh, type of Bhakti a person attains Sarashti and other blessing means four type of liberation. So we have read this is Narad Panchatra. Now, now somebody should read this Narad Panchatra. We read now. Read the Narad Panchatra quickly. On the screen, is it Prabhu? Uh, no, in a book. In the book where uh, Chatura finished after that. Okay. In the Narada Pancharatra Pyo, in the Narada Pancharatra Pyo, unalloyed devotional service is explained as being without any motive for personal benefit. If a devotee is continuously in love with Krishna, Lord Krishna and his mind is always fixed upon him, that devotional attitude will prove to be the only means of attract attracting the attention of the Lord. In other words, a Vaishnava who is incessantly thinking of the form of Lord Krishna is to be known as the pure Vaishnava. Generally, a devotee who has achieved the causeless mercy of the Lord on account of following the strict rules and regulations of devotional service becomes attracted by the supreme greatness of the Lord, by the tendency, from, by the transcendental beauty of the Lord and by the spontaneous execution of the devotional service. To be more clear, by executing the regulative principles of devotional service, one can fully appreciate the transcendental beauty of the Lord. In any case, such exalted positions are possibly only by the, by the extraordinary mercy of the Lord upon the devotees. Okay, so this is something from Pancharatra, which uh, th that bhakti inundated with prem with continuous spontaneous desire to please Lord, free of desire for other results, even the desire to see other powers, it means other type of liberation, uh, brings even Vishnu under control. Now this Vishnu word is here. Then Pancharatra. Prem Paripulta, perhaps this is the equivalent of uh, Param Avishta completely absorbed in the object of love, which is the definition of rag. Now, way in which the Prem Bhakti appears, Ati Prasad Uttaha, proof of the Prem with knowledge of Lord's sweetness. Because Lord of uh, awe and reverence is o over, now Lord's sweetness. Actually, Kevala Prem is Prem for Virja Krishna. Though the text says Vishnu Vasankari, which means literally bringing Vishnu under control. In this text, it must mean that Bhakti for Virja Krishna 
is so attractive that even Vishnu become attracted. An example of Mahavishnu calling Krishna Arjun to his abode to see him them. So what this Vishnu means, those who love Krishna and Vrindavan, even Lord Vishnu is attracted to those devotees. And the example given is, in Dwarka when the children of Brahman were killed and Arjun promised that I will protect, he could not protect, so Krishna took Arjun to the Vishnu Lok. That is the example given here. Even the Vishnu is attracted by the devotees of Krishna. Proof of the Prem with the knowledge of Lord's sweetness. If Arjuna's Bhakti, however, in Arjuna's Bhakti, however, because Arjuna went with Krishna to the Vishnu Lok, there is a mixture of awareness of Krishna as a God along with sweetness. He has both things. Because in the 11th chapter of Bhagavad Gita, he is uh, seeing Krishna's uh, Vishwarup, then he is astonished. So he understands our reverence. So Vishnu's attraction to Kevula Prem would be the Vishnu expansion as coward boys and cows serving Virja Krishna for one year. Now this is another example given by the Acharyas that when uh, Brahma stole the coward boys and calves, Krishna become Vishnu Murtis. So all these boys who were Vishnu Murtis, they were loving Krishna. In this verse, uh, the distinguishing factor is Kevala Prem is Mano Gati Avir Channa, spontaneous service without abandonment of conceiving Lord as a God. So what you have read, what you should write in your book is, generally the devotee achieve causeless mercy or oh, from Nard Pancharatra this is the Prema, this is the uh, Kevala, this is Kevala, Kevala type of mercy but with sweetness only, with sweetness only. Only sweetness and the uh, spontaneous attraction for Krishna with four type of liberation that is Mahatma Maya. Mahatma Maya. That is Mahatma Maya means with opulence, awe and reverence. So these are, these are the two different topics. Uh, I mean say, the mercy in our book you write these two paragraph like that. Now Generally, uh, from Raga Anuga Sadhan, one will attain Kevala Prem. However, practitioner of Raga Anuga, so generally Raga Anuga bhav will give rise to sweetness of Krishna only. However, the particular uh, practitioner of Raga Anuga who also practice some a portion of Vaidhi Sadhan does not receive Kevala Prem. This is not in our books so or you should not worry, but it's just for your information. But this is in Bhakti Rasamit Sindhu. There is the meaning of the word generally, praya, means some will not get. If a person practicing Raganuga Sadhan perform archan with including meditation on Rukmani and others of the Dwarka, which are part of Vaidhi Bhakti, then the Lord will not bestow Kevala Prem. Now, Next page of our book, Association of the Pure Devotees, the real topic or original topic is stages leading to Prema Bhakti. Stages leading to Prema Bhakti. Okay. So this is the verse. This is the verse Adho Sharda and we know this, okay? Uh, this is the whole, now, now you read in our book. Now read this, uh, stages leading to the Prema Bhakti association with the pure devotees. This topic, now you read this topic. Yes, please. Start reading. Can I read again? Oh, okay. Association with pure devotees, which means the stages of Prema Bhakti. 
Although many different processes for developing love of Godhead have been explained so far, Srila Rupa Goswami now gives us a general description of how one can best achieve such a high position. The beginning of ecstatic love of Godhead is basically faith. There are many societies and associations of pure devotees, and if someone with just a little faith begins to associate with such societies, his advancement to pure devotional service is rapid. So what is now you are reading, what you, now you are reading is you have faith, now you join some society means Sadhu Sangha. When Prabhupada writes some society you associate, it means Sadhu Sangha, okay? The influence of a pure devotee is such that if someone comes to associate with him with a little faith, one gets the chance of hearing about the Lord from authoritative scriptures like Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. Thus, by the mercy of the Lord, who is situated in everyone's heart, one gradually develops his faith in the descriptions of such authoritative scriptures. This is the first stage of association with pure devotees. In the second stage, after one begin, becomes a little advanced and mature, he automatically offers to follow the principles of devotional service under the guidance of the pure devotee and accepts him as the spiritual master. This is this is the this is bhajan kriya. When he is accepting the guidance of the spiritual master, bhajan kriya. Okay. In the next stage, under the guidance of the spiritual master, the devotee executes regulative devotional service. And as a result of such activities, he becomes free from the un from all unwanted occupations. That is unearth nivarti. That is unearth nivarti. Yes. When he is freed from unwanted occupation, his faith becomes steadily fixed. This is nishta. Well this is nishta. This is for the devotional service. Then attachment, then ecstasy, and in the last stage, there is a pure love of Godhead. These are the different stages of the development of pure love. So when it says steady fixed, steadily fixed is a nishta and he develops transcendental taste which is a ruchi and then attachment is asakti and then ecstasy means bhav and last state is a prem. Can you see all these now in the in this paragraph? Uh, yes, all of you know this already? Okay. So, so these are actually English word you exactly put where is what. Now, now there is something which is this. It is difficult to understand a person in Prema Bhakti. Now, next paragraph is based on that. It is difficult to understand a person in Prema Bhakti. It is difficult to it is difficult to understand Prema Bhakta. Somebody should read this. Can I yes, not read here in a screen. No this ever fresh prem arises in the heart of a person who is very fortunate. That person's behavior is very difficult to comprehend, even for those knowledgeable of a scripture. Now read in our book. Yes, now read this line. Yes. Yeah. Only the most. Only the most fortunate persons can achieve such success in life. Those who are simply academic students of the Vedic scriptures cannot appreciate how such a development takes place. In the Narad Panchratra, Lord Shiva therefore tells Parvati, My dear Supreme Goddess, you may know from me that any person who has developed the ecstasy of love for the Supreme Personality of Godhead and who is always merged in the transcendental bliss on account of this love, cannot even perceive the material distress or happiness coming from the body or mind. Okay, this is the verse from Narad Panchalatra here. This is the first verse, fortunate you read. This is by Rupa Goswami himself. It is a fortunate person who has a prem, nobody can understand, even they know the scripture. And this is the, from Narad Panchalatra, O Goddess Parvati, the person who is mad with the love of Lord, being absorbed in the highest bliss, does not know at all. 
his own happiness or distress. There is Sandra Andra. There is actually Sandra Anand, Visheshatma. He don't know what is pain and pay, uh, pleasure of this world. So, this verse shows the difficulty in understanding a person with prem. Here is the meaning. What is the meaning? Those learning in scripture, scripture define the goal of life as destruction of suffering and attainment of happiness. They try to understand if the Premi Bhakta have achieved these two goals of life by looking at their external appearance. But these Premi Bhakta internally experience happiness and distress only from achieving or not achieving the Lord. Thus others cannot understand Prem Bhakta's behavior because they are not at a material platform. They are only unhappy if they don't meet Krishna and they are happy when they meet Krishna. So it's not that when their, their suffering goes then they become happy. So they are not at all knowing what is the suffering and what is the happiness. Okay. Now read, now, now read further. The affection and dealing. The affection and dealing the affection of the love. The dealings of love that are Yes, different, the affection and the dealings of love that are different branches of the original tree of love precede many varieties of affectionate manifestations that will not be discussed here. These different manifestations have been described by Sanatana Goswami. In Bhagavatam. Can you hear me, Prabhu? Yeah, continue this, continue, finish this. Okay. These different manifestations have been described by Sanatana Goswami in his Bhagavata Amrita. Although the subject of such affections and dealings of love is very confidential, Sanatana Goswami has described them very explicitly. Continue. Uh, well, this is what Srila Jiva Goswami has written. Person who have realized you do not regard attainment of impersonal liberation as your mercy. What to speak of attaining material position like Indra, which is subject to fear caused by the Lord raising his eyebrow. O oh Lord, those devotees surrendered to lotus, your lotus feet are expert knowers of the rest, derived from the narration about your fame, which could be chanted and be... Anyway, this is the proof given for their Ah, let us remain in the hellish. This is a, this is a pure devotees are ready to go anywhere, but they just want to remember Krishna. So these are the few more proofs given by Jiva Goswami. This is what here you read. Sne and other advanced stages. There you read. There are other stages above Prem. Sne and other stages are manifestation of Prem, but because they are rare. Even those who have predicted, uh, practiced bhakti, the distinction will not be described here. That's what Prabhupada has written. Now this is written, Sri Sanatan Goswami, my master, has clearly described all sweetness of conclusion of bhakti in Brada Bhagavata Amrita, though it is very esoteric. This is what you read. Now the last paragraph which you are going to read is this one. Okay, read this. Sri Rupa Goswami thus concludes the first division of the Bhakti Rasa Amrita Sindhu, offering up his treatise for the transcendental pleasure of Sanatana Goswami, who has established the transcendental beauty and of Gopal Bhatta Goswami, Sri Raghunath Bhatta Goswami, and Raghunath Das Goswami. It appears from this statement that the great Srila Jiva Goswami was not yet active when Bhakti Rasa Amrita Sindhu was written. Thus okay. ends the Bhakti Vedanta summary study of the first division of Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu up to descriptions of ecstatic love of Godhead, which are to follow next. Okay, this is the verse written by uh, Srila Rupa Goswami. Gopala Rupa Shobhanam Dadahad Abhiragunatha Bhava Vistari Tushyato Sanatnatma Prathamaha Vibhaga May the eternal Lord Sanatnath, Sanatnathma in the beautiful form of coward boy Gopal Rupa Shobhanam Dalai. The one meaning is this. Who distributed his mood of love 
टू राम एंड अदर फॉर्म्स रघुनाथ भाव विस्तारी टू बी बी प्लीज विद द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ भक्ति रामित सिंधु द अदर मीनिंग इज मे दर्सन नेम सनातन गोस्वामी हु ग्लोरीफाइज गोपाल भट्ट गोस्वामी एंड रघुनाथ एंड रूप गोस्वामी एंड बेस्ट ऑफ कृष्ण प्रेम टू रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी बी प्लीज विद दिस फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ ओशन ऑफ नेक्टर now there are two meaning of this because how can rupa goswami write his own name rupa gopal rupa shobhanam so rupa goswami is writing this so he why so both meanings are there jiv goswami writes this was has two meanings first meaning express the great mercy of krishna taking another meaning the author mentioned four contemporaries the second name mentioned rupa goswami is a writer of the bhakti rasamrit sindhu the first and third mentioned gopal bhat and ragunath they are the rupa's friends the fourth sanatan is his elder brother and author of the work this ends our bhakti rasamrit sindhu's course now you have any question or comment yes now we have finished our assigned course of bhakti rasamrit sindhu for bhakti shastri today thank you very much you have any question or comment we have almost half hour you can discuss or you can read in a groups and discuss some topics you have any question by now what Hello. i yeah yeah hey go go uh, just a curiosity when we when we looked at this uh, chandrakanti's uh, note they say is bawa and uh, being a young girl and uh, she is a uh, dance for krishna can we also understand that as a kama ruga what kama you what this is this is going to be kama ruga okay right. yeah this is kama ruga this is under that heading also yeah but this this, this is in a uh, 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 like gopi bhav she is not ordinary girl actually this she, she is uh, from some last life she must have some already uh, devotional pious credit that only in one night dancing and get bhav bhakti so she is not ordinary girl she is definitely some special a very special devotee what actually i meant was shila prabhupada has done the summary study all the words are very difficult really to to comprehend therefore simultaneously i was giving the original uh bhakti samit sindhu word and where in the book what shila prabhupada has written from bhakti rasamit sindhu verse by verse and also gave his own commentaries which is extra explanation of those verses so this was my mood to understand prabhupada's writing uh with a basic uh, uh, rupa goswami's bhakti rasamit sindhu with prabhupada's own extra comments is everything clear yes prabhu sir i guess is yes prabhu pranikas prabhu there's nothing do you think that um to achieve prema bhakti in this lifetime is possible or do we need to take the lifetime to come to that level it can be had in a one moment it may take many lifetimes we depends upon our eagerness and seriousness that means we should desire for it is it we should desire to yeah this was the first word shila prabhupada simultaneously yeah this is the first word in this chapter prabhupada is if one desires there is a one thing and then one should only love krishna and nobody else the only subject i really enjoyed the most it is very technical subject actually very technical subject uh, shri rupa goswami uh, is a bharat muni he has uh, written some uh, natak natak means dramas in which there are emotions so he has take, uh, taken all these words shri rupa goswami from from the bharat muni's natak or the drama so these are man, material actually most of things are material sentiment but which are put by rupa goswami in a spiritual context 
And the words of Prabhupada when 70, when Prabhupada translated, this is early 70s, so there were not enough devotees knowing actually the technical words, so, and it's not a proper word really to write exactly for each word. So Prabhupada has written in English uh, words which we have to really, uh, with a basic Bhakti Samit Sindhu co uh, correlate and, and mark it, that will be easy for us to understand. Otherwise, you read Bhagavad Gita as it is many times, it will be very confusing and complicated. So, I was telling always to note this paragraph is about this, this paragraph is about this topic. If you put on the corner of your book, it will be easy in future reference that you will remember what is explained here. Can I finish the book? Yes. So, uh, Shira Rupa Goswami and the other, uh, uh, the, the six Goswami, they already attained this Prima Bhakti. Oh, so they, at this, they are eternal associate of Lord Krishna in Vrindavan. They are eternal associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They are already perfected devotees. They simply, for our guidance, were practicing bhakti, but they were already perfect. Yes, yeah, so, uh, uh, at that stage, they, they put uh, Radharani, the priority, uh, they just want to, uh, Sir Radharani? Yeah, our our line after Goswami is is Manjari. It's called Manjari type of worship, Manjari Upasana. Not actually Radharani, but those who assist Radharani and other gopis to please Krishna. So all our acharyas are Manjaris and Krishna Leela. So when we when, when when we have discussed this two type of uh, Raganuga Bhakti Kama Rupa and Samband Rupa, in Kama Rupa there are two types. One is direct, one is indirect. The direct is gopis like Radha, Lalita, Vishaka, Champaklata. They are direct. They want to directly meet with Krishna and give him pleasure. But there are Manjri, which they never want to meet Krishna, but they simply assess the gopis in a, their service and love to Krishna. So basically our Krishna conscious movement in the line of uh, six Goswamis is uh, practicing Manjari, Manjari practice. Hare Krishna Prabhu, your voice is getting too much. Hare Krishna, no, man, my question is, uh, we are followers of uh, Manjari's who are great uh, uh, assistant to the gopis and Radha Rani and they are happy to see Radha Krishna and gopis unite together and play, give player. That is the practice given by Goswamis. So Chatura, your uh, uh, question is good, but, uh, good in the sense that uh, all the Goswamis uh, their purpose was best uh, to please, uh, to, uh, to see Radha and Krishna together. That was their whole mood. Yeah, uh, that means to please the uh, Krishna and Radha Radhi, both of them, yeah? Yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Yes. Krishna. Yes, Chaturbhuj. Uh, Prabhuji, what is the difference between love for Krishna and love in the material world? Oh, so I told somebody can give the first example of the two. Somebody can answer Chaturbhuj. We went to last question. Huh? Somebody can answer Chaturbhuj. I told you, we read in their book, on a first para, in first paragraph, on first page of this uh, Prema Bhakti, Sangeeta, you remember you told some that verse also part of the verse? 
What is the difference between Prem and uh, Material Prem and Krishna Prem? Material Prem is pleasing one's own senses. What has happened to my computer? Nothing. No, I think your speaker, you need to... Why well, you? Uh, I I have not done anything to my speaker. It's full. Hey, not not a speaker. Your mic. The mic. Oh, it's all full. I think. I don't know. It, it's as it is every day. Huh? Oh, because every five words, I think we only can hear two words. <laughs> now it's not coming. Yeah, it's coming and going. So there must be internet some problem. Uh, now it's gone. Internet problem. Maybe internet problem. Is it? Uh, everything is okay. So maybe you break in the group and discuss among yourselves. Are you listening me? Bhaktin Dan, Bhaktin Dan, uh, 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 you are. Prabhuji, uh, can I ask one doubt, Prabhuji, before we break into the? If 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 you hear me, tell me. Uh, yes, Prabhuji. So just now you said there is a stage of sneha and other advanced stage also even beyond prema, but. Uh, most of the examples that we have heard from scriptures is already like in bhava bhakti stage or prema bhakti stage. So it is like inconceivable, like who can fit into the example of even beyond prema? Like is it only Radharani uh, or like who can be... Uh, all, uh, all, the, all, the go, uh, the, all the other gopis, they have sneha, man, they become angry with Krishna. Some devotees have that mood also. But Mahabhav is only Radha Rani. Mahabhav Swarup Radha. That is the climax is there. But the other devotees can go higher. They can they can have Sneha, Prema, Mana, Rag, Anurag. But these stages are not actually in our subject right now, but they are there. So Prabhu uh, only only Radharani have the Mahab power and nobody can have this, yeah? Yeah, Mahabhava stage is very high stage, the earth stage of the Prem. Uh, most of the devotees, uh, uh, I mean, the, the gopis, they are up till Rag, Anurag, uh, but the, the, the topmost is Radharani in that sense. What are the two characteristics that uh, develop when the love of God manifests? Uh, this is the third 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 class in our book is in in, a, in, a, uh, in the become very intense intense yes yeah? yes one is the intense uh, bilis okay condensed condensed bilis incalculated condensed bilis sandra anand vishesh atma and what is the other one heart person huh heart and the other one is the uh, the ownership of the law. What say again? Uh, ownership of the law. One says no, the, no, 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 my no. <laughs> no, no. Uh, what I am asking is different. Out of the six yeah. characteristic of bhakti, two develop at the stage of sadhan, two at bhav, and two at prem. What are those two? No. Krishna Akrishni. Krishna Akrishni. Yes. So first two develop at the sadhan bhakti are Klesha Ghani and Shobhada. The two, two more manifest and they are the Moksha Laguta Akrit and Sudhir Labha. That is up till Bhav. When we, we, somebody comes to Prem then Sandra Anand Vinishesh Atma and Krishna Akrishna. Oh, Krishna Prabhuji, can huh? a person have uh, a person has only one rasa or he can be more than one rasa? That is what we read that uh, one may be prominent but the others are still there like when somebody has angry he also has within other lobe and uh, uh, pray, uh, say lust they are also there but one is man manifesting like the gopis has all five rasas or oh, some, some will manifest at some time prominently but that prominent is madhurya but there are also other included in that. 
ओके एंड प्रभु जी क्या ये भी होते हैं कि पर्टिकुलर संप्रदाय इज इन ए पर्टिकुलर रसा not exactly but generally the vaishnava sampradayas like uh, madhva they are awe and reverence they are they are, they are not in actually madhuri bhav of a sweetness they have a, they are worshiping gopal krishna but with all the vaidhi marg with all the rules and regulations uh and uh, ramanuja acharya is like uh, lakshmi narayan upasana which is not raga anuga at all they are there is a, there is sita ram upasana rag uh, that is like vaikuntha upasana with awe and reverence the nimarka they have radha krishna upasana but not rag marg generally but they have some rag marg therefore we have in rag marg pushti marg vishnu swami they have mostly the vatsalya bhav because they worship the small laddu gopal so they are authentic pushtima they are all they are all bona fide vaishnava sampradaya but nobody nobody hai hamare sampradaya mein bhi kya madhurya bhav hai we have highest rag anuga madhurya bhav none of the other sampradaya have importance of the radha kund no other sampradaya has any attraction for radha kund only mahaprabhu has managed pasted radha kund which is different non different than radha rani but there are other sampradaya they only worship radha and they don't worship krishna even there are here but there are little deviation from the uh, goswami is teaching little deviation from goswami is teaching okay so chaturbhuj you understood what is the different between material prayer or love and the spiritual blow yes, so now i already lived then i understood okay one is iron one is gold there's a yes, one yes, there's yes. one this analogy is love and the lost depends i yeah. understand now and love means to satisfy one's own senses oh. and yes. uh, sorry lust means to satisfy uh, satisfy one's own senses love means to yes, yes. to satisfy, satisfy krishna's senses कृष्ण इंद्रिय प्रीति नाम धरे प्रेम कृष्ण Uh, like that. So, uh, well, Radha, the, the temple at uh, at uh, Barsana is Radha Krishna, largely, but there is a Krishna also. There is a there is a worship in the temple is a Radha Krishna both. It's not that only Radha Rani is there. Yeah, obviously they they have. But the Prabhupada so has written uh, in a many lectures in a, in Vrindavan. Everybody is approaching Krishna through Radha, so we have to approach Krishna through Radha, but if not directly with Radha, with the some assistant of Radha. So that is everybody say Radhe Radhe and uh, Vinda one. That is perfect. <coughs> Nothing wrong in that. But the wrong slogan is Radhe Radhe Sham Milade is wrong thing. You cannot engage Radha Rani in service to make you uh, eligible to meet Krishna. No, it is not. You should me. You you should pray that uh, Radhe Radhe, Radhe Sham Radhe Sham. we should uh, help radha and krishna to meet not we should ask radha rani to make arrangement for us to meet krishna no that is a wrong slogan of uh, sahajya what is the mood in mayapur mayapur mood is servitude only we have to be servant of uh, and then then we practice there we perfect there then we will be allowed to enter into vrindavan the formula is we have to practice and get mercy of mahaprabhu to enter into the vrindavan oh uh, it says uh, in one of the bhajan it says when nityanand prabhu will bless me that i can relish radha krishna's past time so basically uh, mayapur is a servitude and by that we get blessing and enter into the vrindavan
Any other question? Prabhuji? Yes. Prabhuji? Prabhuji, on Gujarati are coming and going to Darshan Palavacharya, but to place. It is a, this is a sampradaya. It is a bona fide sampradaya of Vishnu Swami. The Vishnu oh. Swami, Vallabhacharya Sampradaya is a, is a Rudra Sampradaya. It's a bona fide. And Vallabhacharya met Chetana Mahaprabhu. He invited Chetana Mahaprabhu at his home for lunch. Prabhu, uh, if said this uh, book, uh, Nectar of the Ocean, and then uh, I will continue to read, uh, study this, uh, the later part of this uh, books and uh, any other books you recommend? Uh, to I mean to uh, to read the rest part, uh, next part of this book. Uh, it is better to have the original translation of uh, Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu available. Then it will be easy to understand. But even or the other book which is uh, called Waves, Waves by Dhanurdhan Maharaj, which is more easy to understand all this. If somebody can get that book Waves, for even the, for, the for complete book, but the 19 chapter are also summarized very nicely. What's the name of the book? Prabhu? He could not hear clearly. This book's name is Waves. Waves? Yeah. And then also the commentary by uh, by Vishwanath Chakravarti is also available, and uh, commentary on Bhakti Samit Sindhu by Bhakti Samit Sindhu Bindu by Vishwanath Chakravarti Chakur. And the, what we have here is both Jiva Goswami and Vishwanath Chakravarti Chakur, which we are uh, sharing with you. Banu Swami's edition also here at Guru. Yeah, that's perfectly all right. Because in Malaysia we only have this. The two volumes. Yeah, two volumes. Yeah. Prabhuji, so, why Prabhupada from chapter 1 to chapter 6 mentioned characteristics of your devotee, characteristics of your devotee? What? From uh, Nectar of Devotion, why is Pila Prabhupada? Mentioned from chapter 1 to chapter 6 is the character of your devotee. Only describe. I don't understand your question basically. It's not what chapter from, 1 to 6. It's not chapter 1 to 6. From chapter 1, character is of your devotee, and chapter 2, character is of your devotee. Like this. Srila Prabhupada has given the different heading and names of the chapter according to the main topic. But there is no any chapter in original Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. There are four waves and Srila Prabhupada included the first wave which is introduction and chapter one. Chapter two to chapter two, chapter two to chapter six, uh, 15 uh, and 16 is actually the wave two. And Prabhupada has given the different name, further further qualities of bhakti, something like that. So, names of the chapters are given by Srila Prabhupada according to the some basic, most important subject matter discussed there. But since there are no chapter as such in a, a Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, there's no name of chapter. Any chapter, there's no name. Prabhupada has chosen the, some name for each chapter from the most prominent uh, subject in that portion of the nectar of devotion or oh, in Bhakti Rasamit Sindhu. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Yes. I just have a question here Prabhu in this, uh, in this paragraph. Uh, an example of such extraordinary mercy is given in the 11th canto, 12th chapter, verse 7, Srimad Bhagavatam, wherein Lord Krishna tells Uddhava, The gopis in Vrindavan did not study the Vedas to achieve me, nor had they ever been holy places of pilgrimage, nor they devout the 
did not ex execute any regulatory principle, nor did they undergo any kind of austerity. It is simply by my association that they have attained the highest perfection of devotional service. And how to understand this problem? Can you elabor elaborate more of this? Like, uh, without following the re regulative principles or any austerities, like how they attain the Krishna's mercy or how Krishna chose a special soul to give his association to put them in that position to be always ex in ec an ecstatic love for him? Uh, the prema bhakti can be achieved by two ways. Uh, two ways. The one is by sadhan bhakti, other is by mercy. So this is the example. Uh, yes, Krishna is giving extraordinary mercy to somebody and they can get prem without any sadhan. And the examples are the gopis and Bali Maharaj and some others. They never did anything but they got mercy. That's called, uh, that's called extraordinary mercy of Krishna and they develop Krishna prem without any without any practice. So, how Krishna chose his special soul Prabhu? Why? He gives his association to some very fortunate people. And that is also, it says Krishna is independent. He can do whatever he likes. He can choose somebody for something. So, without any causes Prabhu, it's just like Krishna There's chose no this cause. This particular... It's called, it's called causeless mercy of Krishna. Ati... Uh, Ati Prasad, Ati Prasad, Ati means uh, extraordinary, Prasad means mercy, as a causeless mercy of Krishna. But this is very rare, again you say the, the, the mercy is very rare, it's always by sadhan, 99%. But uh, Prabhu, we hear that uh, these uh, gopis were also the sages of Dandakarinya forest uh, earlier, and they had done a lot of tapasya to uh, achieve Krishna as well, that, Lord that, Ram. As well, well, that, that is, I also heard the same Prabhu, like for the gopis, I'm not sure with uh, gopas, I'm not sure with the gopis. Well, for gopas is similar, what's that? Uh, they have done so many austerities, then now, therefore they are playing with Krishna now. There's a similar verse for the coward boys also. But there are different groups of the gopis. There are different the groups of the gopis. Those who are sadhana siddha, those who are nitya siddha, then those who are kirpa siddha. So there are sadhana siddha, the dandakaranya gopis are sadhana siddha. They are coming from the practice to get perfection. There are gopis which are nitya siddha like Lalita, Vishaka, they are coming from Golok Vrindavan. They are already perfect. And there are some which are only Kirpa Siddha. They are only given mercy externally by Krishna. They have not done any sadhan. And they are not Nitya Siddha. They are Kirpa Siddha. So we have three we have three varieties everywhere. Sadhan Siddha means by practice. And Nitya Siddha means already perfect. The all Ragatmika Bhakta are already perfect. All Ragatmika Bhakta are already perfect. They are Nitya Siddha. And there is a third category that is called Kirpa Siddha. They have not done anything else, but they are God, God directly. Like Bali Maharaj. He was a, he was a Asura. The Daitya. But Vaman they went and placed his uh, uh, foot on the, his lotus feet on the uh, head of Bali Maharaj. How fortunate is he? Kaliya. How much fortunate is Kaliya that he got the lotus feet and dust of the lotus feet of uh, uh, Sri Krishna dancing. This is extraordinary mercy. Kirpa te pai, bhakti te pai lo prema. So Krishna has extraordinarily best of mercy on that. Brahman Patanis, the wives of the Brahmans. Brahmans were Karmakandi. But their wives, uh, they were spontaneously pleasing Krishna. They got the love of Krishna by his extraordinary mercy. He just invited them from home. And they came and they got the Krishna Prem without any, any practice. Well, that Prem, 
was uh, not actually like Gopi's Prem because Krishna, they wanted to have that but Krishna says no, this is not, this is out of etiquette, you are Brahman, you continue there, you love me within your heart. But there are so, so like we have Putana. Putana got the Bhav Bhakti without uh, any any practice. They are Kirpa Siddha. They are all Kirpa Siddha. So some gopis, not all, some are already perfect. Some have done sadhana and become gopi and some are Kirpa Siddha. Only by mercy of Krishna they got the conjugal love. Actual verse has no word gopi there. The verse before has a gopi in that uh, uh, quotation. Okay. Okay, Prabhu. Thank you, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Thank you. So, I think uh, if you like, we can have some class. If you have any question or queries, otherwise our course is complete today. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Dhanvaktana. We are. Thank you. Bye bye.